In this video, I'm gonna show you the three steps you need to take to use Gig Performer's Rig Manager to switch between multiple hardware devices without having to remap anything at all so that you can have multiple different setups that all control Gig Performer seamlessly. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of Ableton with building a stable live keyboard rig and with mastering sound design. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so here are the three steps that you'll need to take. If you're like me, you probably perform and practice with slightly different setups. So this is gonna totally fix that problem and make your mapping seamless. So we can enter into the rig manager by hitting command R. Um, and it's gonna give you a list of your MIDI input devices on the left, and at the top, it's gonna give you a list of all of your available rigs. Now, when I'm at home, I practice and perform with the KeyLab 88, but when I play out, I often am using someone else's keyboard, so I switch to my Launch Control XL for performance. So step one is create uh, your rigs. So my first rig will be for my KeyLab, and my second rig will be for my launch control. Now, step number two is clearly and thoughtfully label all of your controls. So my key lab has two rows of five knobs. And so I really uh, mathematically name them. I go one, one for row one, knob one, and so on and so forth. And it makes it really easy to transfer over later. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename that. Now, while I do it, why don't you go ahead in the comments and let me know what type of hardware you are most often using to perform live and what you're using in your studio. I always love uh, to hear from viewers who are checking out my content, so make sure you leave that below. I'll do the second row here now. And then I use uh, one button, so I'll add that as well. So our next step is to map these to our desired controls. So button one, one, I'm just gonna go in here and choose learn MIDI and choose the knob that I want to control that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this as well for each and every control that I have labeled. All right, so we'll head over to my other rig and you'll notice these all actually turn back to red. And the reason that that's important is it's actually going to allow you to very quickly map the corresponding mappings to any controller. So if I ended up performing with something that wasn't either of these devices, it would be super fast to remap just in the rig manager and still have it work. So for right now, I'm actually gonna go through and I'm gonna start to show Gig Performer what I want the Novation to control. So for 1-1, one, one, I'll move this knob and we'll keep working our way down. All right, so right now you'll see that I've got my KeyLab 88 set up here and it is moving these knobs and to switch to my launch control, all I have to do is choose it and hit apply. Now when I touch this device, it automatically will do it. And the great thing about this is it actually will work across rack spaces as well. So these guys here will automatically be mapped as well. And one additional bonus is when you go into edit mode, if you want to map something to a different button, there's a handy little drop down here that will show you everything that's set up in Gig Manager. Now, if you are brand new to Gig Performer, I want you to check out my in-depth review right here. And if you're setting up a live keyboard rig right now, go ahead and check up how I create a versatile setup in Gig Performer. If you got value out of this video, please click that like and subscribe button. And I will see you next time at livekeyboardist.com.